Yo guys, it's Slyro. You already know that today I bring you guys another episode of the Pokemon X Egg Lock. And on this episode, we do have a gym battle that we will be doing. But before we do that, we have an egg to hatch and we have a challenge to do that was left in the comments by one of you guys. It's been a while since I've uh, done a challenge or taken on a challenge from one of you guys. But we're going to be adding on a challenge that will be specifically for this gym. And it was left by, the comment was left by a water trainer, which I'm not going to read it word for word because I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it's basically saying that um, I can only use uh, the same amount of Pokemon as the trainer has. And if I do switch out and I use an extra Pokemon, then that Pokemon, the repercussion for using the Pokemon that I send in is I have to box it until I reach the next town. So... I'm going to go through with this challenge. Thank you for, for suggesting that. And if you guys have any other creative challenges that you guys want me to try out um, for any sort of, for any length of an episode um, that you think would be cool for me to do, please leave them in the comment section below as we are still, of course, uh, I, I still am, of course, taking comment challenges, um, even if I haven't been doing them every single episode. Um, I've just been trying to add in challenges to keep this keep the series uh, fresh and new and uh, yeah so thank you for the comment and thank you for everybody that is still watching um, but of course like I said we do have an egg to hatch uh, before um, before we do that I did like I said after we got our fifth gym badge when we got here I did say that um, I was going to turn Sneasel into a Weavile and which I did and I'm going to turn uh, Gligar into a Gliscor which I did so everything is the exact same um, they're the same level um, everything like that. Basically, I I didn't actually feel like genning in the items and then leveling them up and stuff like that just because the experience would just be, I don't know, a little bit odd. So I just changed them into a uh, into a Weavile and a Gliscor. But everything um, else is the exact same. Um, of course, Gliscor has Poison Heal now, which is cool. Don't know if I'll really use that. But um, we are going to hatch an egg first. I doubt it's going to be an egg that we're going to be able to add to the team, at least not right away. Um, but we did catch a, a Quagsire. Yeah, we did catch a Quagsire. Level 31, it's actually not bad. Um, let me go ahead and just six spot in the team, it doesn't really matter. And I believe we hatched from box two last time, so let's actually go to box one. Uh, this row is seeming a little bit left out. Let's go for, let's go for this last, should we go for this last one over here? Let's go for the middle. We got Shoddy Bird. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we have, we have, we have Shoddy Bird. I'm trying to think of what this would be. Um, I can't think off the top of my head. I'm like really, really tired when recording this, guys, so, um, I'm not responsible for any of the actions of, that have, of, of whatever happens in this episode. Um, I got like three hours of sleep and that was, uh, I woke up like oh, a, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I don't remember. That's, that's how long it's been, but <laughs> I really wanted to get uh, a video recorded for you guys. I've been trying to keep up with mostly daily uploads. Um, and of course I want to get this series towards the end as we already are, which is something else that I will be talking to you guys about in this episode, but let's see. Um, what Shoddy's bird looks like. So let's not take that out of context. It's great because Shoddy probably won't even watch this. It is a far-fetched. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I'm going to assume this is probably one of the eggs that Evelyn sent in. That's going to be my assumption. But if I'm incorrect, um, you can correct me. But, uh, so we have, we have Shoddy bird. Not even bad. Dun, dun. All right, Shoddy Bird, the Farfetched. Uh, I guess I can check the legitimacy of and um, make sure that it is legitimate and it doesn't cheat like Shoddy does. I'm just kidding, he doesn't cheat. Um, but it is a jolly one, Defiant, with Brave Bird, Poison Jab, Leaf Blade, and Ice Slash. That is actually a really powerful moveset with a stick. I feel like this would actually be a really good to use in-game Pokemon. Um, maybe if something happens to Glasgow or something, maybe, maybe I'd consider it. Um, I'm going to double check the legitimacy of it, just like I do all the Pokemon, and I will be back in no time. And as I, I, I uh, assumed that it was, it is legal. So we are going to level up this Farfetch'd level 31. 
uh, which is actually really good. And while I do that, instead of cutting this out, um, I actually did want to get you guys' opinion and uh, and talk to you guys about we're going to be using 30 of our 31 rare candies. So, we're basically using all of them. Of course, I will have to put some more into the game, which I will. Um, but we're not going to get an encounter this episode anyway. So, not a big deal. But as we're doing this, um, obviously we are getting kind of towards the end uh, of this LP. Probably a couple more weeks to a month of this, depending on how often I'm able to upload it. Um, so, I want to know your opinions and thoughts on what we should do after this. I do want to do some sort of Pokemon series, of course, after this. Um, and I've just, I've been throwing around a couple ideas. I've been thinking I could do another sort of Nuzlocke. I've actually been really thinking about playing, um, like gold or silver or something like that. Like going like way back in the day. Or, um, I've been thinking about playing another, playing another like ROM hack or like fan made game, um, like that. Um, I know a while ago, I think Pokemon Uranium was suggested and that's something that I've definitely thought about. I've looked at other ROM hacks just to just to try and find something new, but I haven't found anything that caught my eye that um, that I've really wanted to do. Um, so I just want to get to you guys' opinion on what you guys would like to see, what game you would like to see, what variant of anything you would like to see. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically it because I've just been throwing around a couple ideas and. Um, of course, as we get to the end of this, uh, I would love to get you guys' opinions on that. So, if you guys, uh, you know, want to influence the, the future series of this channel, uh, you guys can feel free to leave suggestions in the comments. Of course, I always read the comments. Um, there's hardly ever a comment that I miss, and if I ever do miss, it's usually YouTube's fault. So, um, <laughs> but besides that, I read every single comment. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, do that so this is a little 28 aren't you glad we had a little talk i'm glad we had a little talk i didn't have to cut out anything and that made editing so much easier so future me is going to thank you it's going to thank me wait agility no yay all right the rare candy is going to be by himself he doesn't have any rare candy friends anymore i i ate all of his friends all right so i'm going to actually i didn't eat all of his friends i gave all his friends to Sh Shoddy ate all his friends. Why does Shoddy always eat people's friends? He needs to stop doing that. That's a bad habit. But, <laughs> alright, well, we're going to go ahead into this gym. I don't remember if it's a psychic or a fairy gym, and I'm not going to remember until I walk in. Um, I'm just going to go a little bit of a shopping spree, because we're rich, and we can do that. So I'm going to buy uh, 23 super potions. Uh... 37 hyper potions. I actually just like even numbers. That's the only reason I'm doing that. Uh, uh, do we need any full heals? I'll buy four. Not that I'll ever use them. That's fine. I can buy a full restored, can't I? Yo, let's buy like 18 of them. Yo, this business is gonna be is like, I'm supporting small businesses. I'm such a, I'm such a thoughtful person. Um, I'm gonna use just, just two of them. Just two. I don't use repels, repels that much. Repe I'm never gonna be able to say that word right, man. It's, man, this is this is a tough world that I'm living in. Um, all right, so let's duel. Oh, dude, I said we were gonna go shopping and change our look. Speaking of spending money and supporting small businesses, let's actually go to the clothes store, um, and change up, change up our, our look and pimp ourselves out. That's what we're gonna do. Um, all of our clothes are gonna come from this town and this town only. So let's go buy some stuff. Whoa, that was music. Welcome. I would love to check out this in the back shop. Actually, this is the easiest way to shop right here. Take your time. Bam. Because then you can look at all the stuff. Um, let's see, there's an outdoors cap. What does an outdoors cap look like? I like it. Um, huh, I don't know what I feel. Oh, that's alright. I don't know if any of them look any better than what I have on right now. Maybe this. What does this look like if I have that on? I like it. Um. I kind of like. Uh, what do the brown ones look like? Yo, look at that fashion sense. Yo, I'm so good at fashion. Um. Boots. Mm, the boots are fine. The boots are with the fur. I can get a feather. Do I want a feather or sunglasses? 
Yo, look at how fancy I look. Let's do this. I probably just blew all my money, but you know, it's if you learn anything in life, it's spend all of your money as quickly as you get it. L life lessons with Slyro. Alright, so now that we're broke and we look super fly, um, we are going to go into... Oh, just kidding. We still have $47,000. I love being rich. Um, please come again. I probably won't. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just stick to the style. I don't I, I actually don't even I don't know the way I look it looks kind of actually weird, but it's different You know what and different is cool. So I like being different. You should like being different, too Let's go ahead into here The very city gym. This is the fairy type gym. I'm almost positive. This is the fairy type gym right But howdy mr. Patty. What's new future champ? Is here Lavera City Pokemon Gym has some truly confounding conundrums. First shocker is this here is a fairy type gym, but you never seen one of these before. No, because fairy types didn't exist before. But I mean, dark types have existed and they still didn't get a gym, so I mean, but screw dark types, right? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pick the Pokemon that we want to go against fairy types. Demonic is going to get screwed over again. Sapphire is going to get kind of screwed over. Um, honestly, Nightwing is easily the best lead for everything, because if the trainer only has one Pokemon, I can use Nightwing to take him out, and if it has more than one, I can U-turn into another Pokemon and get some experience, so, honestly, this, this could actually end up being a really easy challenge for us, um, but remember, we can only use the same amount of Pokemon as the other trainer if we do end up going over that limit, um, there will be re repercussions, and I will have to box, um, that Pokemon until we reach the next town. So, that is something that could happen, but I'm gonna do my best to stick to, stick to the thing. The Furiso girl, the one and only Valerie. I guess Valerie's cool. I don't know. Does she? I guess she can design clothing, but I mean, I look better than you do, so I don't. I mean, it's whatever though. I mean, if you want to think you look, you look good all you want. That's that's fine, but I don't. So here, so this is like a situation. So there's. Two Pokemon. How are you gonna snore when you ain't even asleep? Bro, you're a weirdo. That did nothing. Alright. That's because it's fairy type. U turn does nothing. Yo, I have Metal Claw, dude. Glass is gonna run through this gym. Um, what can take on electric types? Um nothing that needs experience, so Medusa is probably the closest thing. So Medusa and now Glassquare are the only two I can use for this battle. If I switch into anything else, that Pokemon will get boxed for the Playthrough. Oh, and I have Iron Tail, dude. Dude, I am just gonna destroy this gym. We still have yet to miss an Iron Tail. Oh, that didn't actually do that much. That's disappointing. Oh well. It's okay. I'm okay. Azumarill. Yo, Azumarill. Have you heard? Have you heard this leaf blade coming at your face? Cause you're not gonna hear it for much longer, even though you have big ears. Oh my gosh, it lived. Wow, that's that's disappointing. Yo, whose ears are bigger, Survipers? Survipers? It's a superior, not a Survipers. Superiors or um or Zumro? Vote in the comments. Uh, who has bigger ears? I think Zumro has bigger ears. I don't even know how does Superior hear out of, hear out of those. They don't even have ear holes. Oh man, I am, I am. I am alive. Today's a great day to be alive. It's snowing a lot outside, and uh, maybe trapped inside, uh, unable to get out for uh, forever, for eternity. Because that's what snow does. Snow's scary, guys. It's, it's a big deal. Once the snow, you're not ever allowed to leave your house. I don't know what I'm going on about. I don't actually mind. It hasn't snowed like the whole like winter, and now it finally is, and everybody's like freaking out, and it's just like. Yo, but snow's kind of cool, though. I mean, it kind of sucks to drive in, but it's, it's kind of cool, though. It's kind of cool. Alright, let's, um... Let's go here. I love how we can just teleport. I wish we could do that in real life. Like, if we could just teleport like that, that'd be... That'd be so sick. Like, no idea. You came here to learn from Valerie. Dude, I... I want to learn some things from Valerie. If she, she's teaching everybody else some stuff. Teach me something. Oh, there's the Aromatisse. Good thing I got that coverage though. So glass score. Oh my gosh, level 40. It's gonna metal claw this thing in the face. I bet acrobatic still does more. 
flail. You can flail your big booty at me. What an acrobatics team. Bam! Yeah, acrobatics is so much more. And you're gonna charm me. Okay. You're not really charming, but you know, that's what you wanna go for, sure. I also have cross poison. I can just get crits and stuff, because I'm good at the game. But you guys already knew that. Nightwing is gonna be so overpowered by the end of this gym. Wow, crying for Lady Valerie. She, like, she ain't even gonna come rescue you. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, now we in the bathtub. Oh, okay. We just sat on the on the royal toilet. Cause we're a king. Uh, what is this? Is this is a place that I want to be. Yeah, I made it back to the beginning. All right. That uh, that did not quite work out as planned. Let's go this way. Did I already go this way? All right. So red checkerboard room leads to the bathroom. Uh, bottom right bathroom leads to leads to this black and red black and red um, checkerboard room, to where we go back here. Right there. Oh, this looks like a thing. Didn't we? Don't we just look like a bunch of dolls in a dollhouse? Maybe you are a bunch of dolls in a dollhouse. Am I a doll? Maybe I'm a doll. Oh, there's three. I can use three Pokemon. That's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. And I don't think you have too much fairy moves, so I think, I think, I think, I think, I can actually switch into Tyrant. And then I can Fire Fang this thing. Which is good. Tyrant is getting close to the level uh, to where I could evolve it. Though, I'm actually recording this at night, so unless there's something messed up with my in-game clock, uh, Tyrant wouldn't even evolve uh, if I got it up to that level this episode. Fire Fang, though, it's probably going to take two. Because Klefki is Klefki. JK, Sapphire just okos everything that it, it sees. It's literally insane. Oh, it's got the Lucky Egg. Not even bad. Curlia. Alright, we need to get out of here. Uh, let's go into... Boom, boom, boom. Let's go into Ink. That's going to be the third Pokemon. So Tyrant, um... So we got Sapphire, we got Ink, and we got um, Nightwing. Those are going to be our Pokemon for this episode. Calm, um, I'm going to have to ask you to stop. I'm going to have to ask you to stop. Alright, let's, uh, let's just ominous wind you. I mean, it should still do a decent amount, even if you aren't plus one spadef. Yeah, we're good. Just don't kill me. I did outspeed. Yeah, we should be good. And now you can't use Psychic anymore. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, you can't beat Ink. Ink is gonna blink all over your face, if that makes sense. I don't even know if Frillish's eyes could blink. Can a Frillish blink? It doesn't even have eyelids. Do Pokemon have eyelids? I feel like some Pokemon definitely don't have eyelids. But... Hopefully, y'all be enjoying yourself um, when I... I'm really tired. <laughs> so, let me know if you like Tired Slyro. I think Tired Slyro is pretty entertaining. Don't lick me. Um, that's weird. Like, number one lesson in life, don't lick people unless they consent to it. If they consent to it, you can lick them all you want, but, I mean, most people don't consent. Okay. Oh, there was actually a specific rule about Roar that Roar doesn't count. So, if it, okay, so even if it roared me into a Pokemon that wasn't one of the three, I would have been fine. Um, that was in the comment that was on the screen earlier this episode. Uh, that's I didn't think that was actually going to come into play, but it did. How about that? I should have used Surf. Why didn't I go for Surf? Yo, you can't you can't even lick a ghost. That did a lot. That was a crit. Like, how would you lick a ghost? I'm pretty sure that's like a definitely a thing you can't do. But Grimble's dead, so it don't matter. You can stop doing weird dog things to me. Level 36, not even bad. Not even level 38, because it's super OP also. This is like Pokemon Trainer Bellossom. It's like a Bellossom dressed up as a human 
being like, Blossom, I'm gonna battle you and stuff. All right, super potion up, ink, and then we're still good. Yo, we're we're so set. We're gonna take on the gym leader and we're gonna win and all that. Okay, this is a this is a new room. Okay, we have to take on this chick. Oh, no effect on fairy types. I bet it's dragon. Is it dragon? Yo, I got the right answer. Give me a million dollars. I won Jeopardy. Sword puff. All right, I have to use freaking Nightwing to take on the slurp puff. Now, if history has taught me anything, it's that acrobatics is going to do the most amount of damage, regardless. And that did do a lot. Energy ball. Yo, you need to turn yourself all the way down. Yo, we're getting a gym. We're getting a gym badge. We're getting a gym badge like every other episode. We're so good, but there's gonna be stupid team flare stuff that comes up soon. I don't remember when that is. I forget if we have another gym before all that stuff happens. I think we do. Alright, let's go up in this thing. Yes, we did it! Yo, we see uh, we did it. Alright, Valerie. <coughs> in this Valerie. Yo, she just cursed to me. Yo. Oh, if it isn't a young trainer. So you've flown all the way through my gym, fluttering down to me on a fortunate wind. Except for I don't have wings, I just turn into particles and teleport. I'm like Goku. Then I suppose you've earned yourself the right to a battle as a reward for your efforts. Or like those or like that thing in uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, whichever one was the good one. Um turned particles and then you you become a TV or the chocolate bar. I don't remember how that movie goes, man. It's been a while. It's a good movie though. I'm Va I'm Valerie who leads the fairy type gym. I hope your visit will prove entertaining to you. The elusive fairy type may appear frail as a breeze and delicate as a bloom, but they are strong. Mm, just like your hair game is strong. And her eyebrows won't fleek. Actually wait, I didn't yo, she barely has eyebrows. Her eyebrows are the opposite of fleek. What's the opposite of fleek? Um, I think she has three Pokemon. Three Pokemon. All right, so we can use three Pokemon. Well, this is not the best situation for us. Do we have a Pokemon that is the best situation for us? Probably superior. So I'm going to U-turn out. We're going to go into Medusa. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that. Yo, freaking demonic is just falling so far behind. It's so sad. I'm just gonna lead seed this thing because I'm not trying to hit a bunch of iron tails in a mall while where it's not even gonna do that much damage. So I'm gonna just do this. Crunch. That is. That is damage, but not a lot of damage. So we're fine. And then we just have, hmm, I don't know, I'm gonna just Leaf Blade, I guess. It's better than doing no damage at all, I guess. Even though that's basically what we're doing is no damage at all. It's gonna keep Iron Defense thing. I don't know if there's really a third Pokemon that I would want to send in here, honestly, though. I mean, will Iron Tail do damage? Yo, we keep hitting them. Oh, that does less. Oh, but we lowered its defense. That's nice. That is that is pretty pleasant indeed. Sap, sap, sap. All of your health up. I'm just so used to, like, special attacking superior that I'm just... I'm not used to this, uh... Leaf Blade and Iron Tail. Yo, that crit, though. That mattered, but... We good, so we got some experience on Medusa. We got some experience on Nightwing. Mr. Mime. Uh, Mr. Mime, I don't think you want to take an Iron Tail? Yo, how do we hit all these Iron Tailers? That better happen in the PPL this season. I want to hit every Iron Tail ever. And it used to reflect, okay. I'm just going to go for a Leaf Blade this time. Yeah, she went for a Hoipa po po Potion. Because I can talk. Ugh. Slash you in half. Bum bum bum. Will a nine tail take it out? Yo, we're so good. 
something something in this episode is going to be in the title of this episode is going to be related to Iron Tail being super great and Medusa is now the greatest Pokemon on our team. So that's a really cool thing. Now we got the Sylveon. I'm going to lead seed the Sylveon. I don't think I have a resistance to freaking fairy moves. Dazzling Gleam Sylveon top notch strats. That's a lot of damage. Do I I don't have any sort of like special defense bond do I? I don't have I don't have a fire type. I don't have uh wow, weak like four times a week to fairy, weak to fairy, weak to fairy. Um and then not, but I'm like six levels lower. Uh I'm actually going to use a super potion because I didn't really check to see how much that dazzling gleam did. I feel like a crit would kill me though, and I'd actually cry. I probably wouldn't cry, but I'd come pretty close. I wanna went for charm, okay. Hmm, I feel like I feel like Glasgow could take a move. And it wouldn't be charmed. Oh wait, I'm not am I I'm I'm not contrary, am I? Am I contrary? Summary. Oh yo, I am contrary. Yo, thanks for raising my attack. Valerie, you're a real bro. Even though you're not even a guy, but you can still be a bro. Bam, you can also be a dead Sylveon. You're not dead, but you're gonna die after the sleep seed. Oh, that does damage, yeah. A crit a crit from where I was before would definitely have taken me out. Sylveon's dead and we're gonna get ourselves a gym badge. Not even bad, so we don't even have to take any repercussions from uh, using extra Pokemon. Maybe that's something that we'll institute for the next gym also. So, maybe that's one of those rules that'll uh, reappear for each gym. Uh, maybe if we're like really, really tough, we might do that for the Elite Four, but I won't promise that. Not yet, anyway. But we got ourselves another gym badge. Um, that's our sixth gym badge. This captivating fairy badge will endear any Pokemon up to level 80 to you. you. Yes, even those Pokemon that you may receive from others will obey you. I also wish to award you this TM. Please consider it a personal gift from me, not simply the winnings of a battle. Dazzling Gleam. That's so good. Oh, oh my, what a curious feeling. I can't seem to recall any longer. Yo, it says it when you gave it to me. It said Dazzling Gleam. How are you not able to remember, Trick? You so... I've always wanted to be a Pokemon, you see. Why do I want to be just be a person? What I tried to achieve by designing, and yet the only time I feel I am truly one with Pokemon is when we are embroiled in desperate battle. I wonder why that is. Hmm, could it be? Never mind, there's nothing kind trainer. Alright, Valerie, you need to go to a crazy house, and I'm gonna get up out of here. Because you gave me a clearly labeled TM, and you don't even know what it's called. We're gonna take our feather hat. On our swag jacket, and we're going to hit the Pokemon Center. Oh, hey, it's raining. Hi, Sly. Oh, hi, it's you guys. Hey, that's a fairy bad. It's so cute and sparkly, just like me. You know what? We're going to go toward the Pokeball Factory. Oh, the Pokeball Factory. That's going to be the next time. Oh, we're going to go see how Pokeballs are made. Come with us. I'm interested in Pokeballs because they're used to catch Pokemon. Oh, oh, thanks. I didn't know that. I, we're six gym badges in, and you're just now telling me this? Cool. To put it another way, I'm utterly fascinated by them. All right, bye. All right, well, it's raining now, so that means that um, that we're going to have a bad day. I don't know. I'm sure. That's going to um, do this episode. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed my tired commentary. Um, if so, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys on the next time. And until then, stay slime.